Hi, Robert. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you both? Good. Hey. Thank you. How are Great, you? Thanks. Very well. I've just seen your film. So my head is full of loads of questions and ideas. And I feel like I need to get back into the cinema and see it again. Um, are you guys delighted that we're finally, you know, people are finally seeing this after kind of having it pushed back and, you know, the anticipation around this movie. Everyone has been so excited about finally getting into the cinemas to see it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, no, I think I'm, I'm really, I, I, I was thinking when, when you were, I was kind of being in London um, and seeing on every marquee of every cinema saying, you know, we'll be back soon. And, say, and, and you know, it was kind of this sort of quite forlorn messaging on every single one of the cinemas. And then thinking that, you know, there's there's every possibility that these cinemas won't be coming back. And then to suddenly one day see Tenet on the on the marquee, it really, I just felt really proud. I mean, I was kind of, I, it was kind of shocked me when it came up the other day. And I was like, oh, wow, it's kind of, it actually meant a lot more to me than um, I realized it was going to mean. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, but definitely. I, I, I mean, I knew, I was very excited about people seeing it in the first place. And, um and thought it was going to kind of exist as a bit of a unicorn because it is quite, it's quite a unique movie. Oh, and um, what is going on in Christopher Nolan's mind? Because, I mean, that's a mate, the, the script, I mean, Elizabeth, did you have to read the script? I would have had to read the script about five, six times to kind of understand it at all. Did you guys have that experience where you were like, what is this? What exactly are we doing? I think that when I first read the script, I, I, I understood it on whatever layer I understood it on. That obviously then got deeper and more complex and more detailed than when I read the script. And then obviously making it sharpened my understanding of every single iota of the action sequences and everything. But I sort of feel like that's in a way how I watch Nolan's films as well. Even, you know, definitely conceptual films like Inception, but even Dark Knight films, every time I watch it, I sort of it sort of sinks a layer deeper into my consciousness and I understand something new about it. So I suppose I did make, I think I made about three cups of tea the first time I read it. I took little breaks and went to the <laughs> kitchen. I think, I think, yeah, I think you'd have to. I feel like I needed a cup of tea during watching it. I mean, it was, it was absolutely fantastic to watch. I think one, the thing that I really liked about it as well was the two different relationships that both your characters are in. So Elizabeth obviously having to deal with Kenneth Branagh, who I think is the meanest Kenneth Branagh I've ever ever seen in fact I almost forgot it was him I don't think he's actually ever played a character that nasty and then Robert obviously working alongside John David and the kind of the friendship and the relationship that you guys um are, are, you know have as well those things were really nice to watch on screen did you both enjoy getting into that into those those dynamics with your respective partners yeah I did yeah well I I mean Ken obviously a national treasure of yours um, is such a delight to work with as an actor. He's such, he's such a funny, I mean, you wouldn't know it watching this film, but I mean, he, he was so much fun to work opposite. And we, I think we sort of allowed each other to um, definitely sprinkle a little bit of like fun pixie dust <laughs> onto the set because the thing that we were sort of constantly channeling and creating obviously is quite dark. Um, but no, I, I, I really found their relationship and consequently, obviously, selfishly, what happens to my character psychologically yeah. and the kind of journey she goes on as, as a result of that relationship, super interesting to play. Yeah, and Robert, obviously, John, David as well, you two, you're the friendship. Uh, yeah, I mean, luckily, I, we had a big, long rehearsal period and um, I just love John David. I think he's like one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life, like even outside of acting or anything he's just a really 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 great person and um and just a phenomenal actor and I, it was just for you know it's quite it's it's a very ambitious movie we we're like it's it's really really hard to make and if you had someone who was a nightmare to work with it would have been hell and but john like yeah it was it was one of the most fun movies i've ever had I've ever had the pleasure of working on and a lot of that is down to John David's attitude and um, and ability as well. Well, congratulations to you both on this film. It's lovely to be able to actually have it in the cinemas. It's a bit of no it's weirdly a bit of normality, but watching something that's completely not normal, um, <laughs> I very much enjoyed. <laughs> Amazing. Cool. Thanks so much, guys.